Hi, everyone. Darren, how's it going? Oh. My Chromebook can do that. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be doing some fun stuff with Chromebooks today. I'm excited. <laughs> so fantastic. Yes, welcome everyone who is joining us. Uh, my name is Charity, and this is Darren below me. And over next to us here, we have Manjeet and Usman, who work with Google. Welcome, guys. Want to give Hello. yourself a bit Thanks of an for introduction? Us, Let us know. Yeah, this is this is really cool. Thanks for letting us uh, join this. Um, I've never been in a presentation with a guitar, like a live guitar before. So I'm pretty pumped for that. Um, I'm a little jealous that I don't have as much talent. I'm looking at two guitars that I've never really played. I just kind of have. So yeah. <laughs> well, you're lucky. We can do some lessons. We'll trade you some uh, Chromebook stuff for some guitar lessons, maybe. Sure, yeah. Uh, you can use me as a guinea pig today. That's what I'm here for. So anything you need, uh, I'll see what we can do. <laughs> Hey, welcome everyone. Thanks for having me today. Uh, the presenters today are going to rock this show. They have the utmost highest energy levels that I've seen, especially from Darren with the guitar. You guys can probably already tell, but uh, thank you for having me here and uh, I'm excited. Awesome. Hey, what do you guys do for Google anyway? Well, I'll, I'll start this one. Um, I'm actually a market manager for the Toronto region. Well, actually the Toronto West region. Sounds kind of boring, I know, but still. Uh, what I do is I look after a team of uh, fantastic troops who uh, help uh, people learn about Chromebooks, um, help people work with Chromebooks and obviously make the purchase. So whenever you're in a store and you see a Chromebook expert there helping you out or helping your parents out when it comes to deciding the you know the right Chromebook, and believe me, we're always gonna try to get you the best one. Um, you know, that's actually with my team. And so I'm, and, uh, so I'm really happy to be a part of that on the front lines there. And uh, Usman, I can pass it over to you now. Yeah, so I'm his counterpart, uh, and then I cover the Toronto Central area. So for anyone in and around the GTA, uh, definitely look for the Chromebook reps, and you know the, we'll be all part of the Google and Chromebook family. So uh, hop into a store one day, and uh, if you ever yeah. say hello, just know that we're all part of this presentation, and it's always going to be a nice family orientation. And, and I think I heard them say, students, if you have any trouble with your Chromebook, these guys will come just right to your classroom, like the bat phone, just send up the bat signal, and they will come. They will <laughs> Absolutely. Come. <laughs> Absolutely. You just gotta put that well, that's my job. Signal. When I when I signed this oath, I said I'm going to be here for anyone at any time. So just uh, let up the chrome signal in the sky, and I'll be there. I don't know where that So about eight years ago was when we went Google. Nine years, my my district, and I said, okay, well, if we're using Chromebooks, that's what I want to use as my work machine. So I started using Chromebook for absolutely everything, and it didn't use any Macs or PCs or anything, just a Chromebook. And maybe when it started, it was a bit difficult. Certain programs you couldn't do, certain photo editing, video editing. But now it is incredible what you can do on a Chromebook. Like you, I don't think you really need anything other than a Chromebook for, for what you're doing for school. You Unless know, you're doing some super high powered, you know, video editing or photo editing that you need something. But in general, I use my Chromebook for absolutely everything. That is a fantastic point, Darren. Honestly, um, it, it's a design for how people use their computers. So that's a major element of it. Like we saw, what do people really use a computer for? What do students use it for? What do creatives use it for? And we just, you know, um, stuck with those elements. And, and that's it's speaking to a lot of people. That's why it's so huge in the market today. Yeah, okay. Well, sir. Oh, sir. I was awesome. like, I'm a long way. And uh, yeah, we're definitely proud of how far we've come. And, you know, just the future looks bright. Well, you know what, students, you guys, obviously, from what we've heard, you have the the guys, the Chromebook guys here today, the best team possible. Let's get started. We want to hear from you. So on your Chromebooks, type in that website right there, the cc.page slash steam 3 c all lowercase, you're going to find that that's a form. That's how you connect with us because there is no chat with this with this stream. You go in through that form, connect with us. Let's hear from you in that form. And we're going to give you some shout outs okay. as you put in uh, your comments, your questions. Connect through that form with us. Awesome. Darren, I'm going to turn okay. it over yeah. to you. It's your show, buddy. Yeah. So just we do want to hear. Just practice using this little form. You don't have to type, type in the uh, HTTP. Just type in the cc.page forward slash stream 3C. And you can just give us your favorite song to start with. Tell us what your favorite song is. Oh, there's some really good responses coming in. So many people are super happy and positive. I want to call out every single person who's saying, hey, give us a shout out. Um, I can, well, I'll can. i do a couple, if that's okay with you. Uh, the first one on the list was, can you say hi to Lennon? So, hey, Lennon, that's awesome. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's a lot of really cool stuff coming in. 
And I could actually play some John Lennon if you know. <laughs> Extra Lennon too. Uh, there's some Lennon for you. All right. So hopefully you're in there. The CC dot page forward slash stream three C. Now, well, sorry, I, I just wanted to say six A. We're happy to have you. Uh, this is Kirk Brides, grade three four class. We're so excited that you're here. I also thought Darren is the goat. You know what that means, Darren? I, I hope it's the greatest of all time and not meh. <laughs> I, I hope, that's the one thing I hope. Okay, I just want to talk about getting around the Chromebook. And I know that a lot of students are getting pretty good with they see me scroll and you're on a web page, you can just scroll. But can you actually, you know, minimize your page and are you good with the right click? Can you do the right click and get the little box pop up on your Chromebook? Can you click and you get that little box? If, if you have a little bit of time, are you allowed to change your wallpaper on yours? Can you poop, change your wallpaper in your Chromebook? Maybe that's something you already know how to do. And a lot of times I'll be in classes and I'll hear whack, 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 whack. They're, they're hitting that trackpad really hard. But can you, students, make that white box on your desktop appear and disappear? Two fingers, one finger, without making a sound. Teachers, you're welcome. So you can actually click without making a single sound on your Chromebook. You don't have to hear that of the mouse pad. Can you do it super silently? And if you get that done, you're like that. I know how to do that. I know how to right click. I know how to click and get a box pop up and click with one finger and make that box disappear. Although when I'm in grade, you know, some of the grade two classes, they'll be like, all right, I'm a white box. It popped up. It's like, yeah, because you clicked. You just have to click again. But did you know about the three finger click? which is the same thing as the switcher key that's at the top. Your little little thing, my friend Trish calls it a loaf of bread. It's a little square <laughs> with the two at the end, at the very <laughs> top of your Chromebook. It's actually called the overview key. Uh, I think yeah. bread, bread key is actually better. I'm gonna see if I can make a petition to call it the bread key. But yeah, it's the overview key, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> so can you do that? Three we're, fingers. <laughs> we're all about the carbs here at Cobblestone Collective. <laughs> That's right. And and a lot of students might not know about three fingers left and right, which is a tab switcher. So if you have a whole bunch of tabs open, you can use your three fingers on your mouse pad and whoop, go left and go right. Now, if you think, so do we have some keyboard? You, you're the masters. You're able to, you can scroll. You can right click. I used to call that snake bite. With the, so my class, snake bite. But snake bite's not that accurate. You want the fat parts, more bunny ears, right, Manjeet? Yeah, actually, like yeah. That. That's more gentle. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> snake bite sounds cooler, though, I have to say. Um, I know. On your Chromebook. <laughs> one website that I think is super awesome is this one. And teachers and students, you can go to this site. You don't have to go to it necessarily right now, but this is the Chromebook simulator. So, teachers, if you're ever trying to show a student, you know, what these Chromebook keys are, here's your boom pop up screen and you can go through and this is just like the top keyboard shortcuts that they have on here. This Chromebook simulator is a great site to go. If you want to do screenshots of this and, or to show your class, you know, the keyboard and what some of these keys are, it's just a great place to go. And you can just use the Google machine, Chromebook simulator. It's a good one. Well, the Google machine is also my nickname, just letting you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the that's the thing with uh, googling and, and tech people. There's there's faster Googlers. Now, one thing I love about Chromebooks is, did you know that you can get every single shortcut on a Chromebook just by going Control Alt and forward slash? So this is super cool. Do you want to show what that looks like, uh, Manji? Do you want to take over sharing? I'm, I'm yeah, sure. Boring. Yeah, yeah, if you don't mind, I can actually show my desktop if you don't mind. Here, here we go. Yeah, that'd be um, great. Let's go for it. All right, give a second here. Okay, so I can see my page here. Can we just get a confirmation that you can all see my screen here? You can see that I'm in the presentation. Whoa, it's going like super. Whoa. Okay. Inception. I love so I'll it. tell you what, I'm going to go to my desktop background here. And uh, just like you were saying, Darren, I'm going I'm to do the bunny ears. I'm going to quickly touch the touchpad there. And you can see that if I open it up, there it is. Yes. I, didn't make, I didn't make the clicking sound. Do you guys hear that? I didn't make a click sound. Yeah. Nice and quiet. Okay. 
And yes, absolutely. If you want to, and if your school allows it, you can set your wallpaper. Um, mine is actually this this wallpaper is special to me because it's it's named after me after a long winter, and it's called Pale Mango. So <laughs> uh, that's that's actually one of my favorite wallpapers, and you can choose from a whole bunch of these. Um, what was the command that you had for me there, Darren? Tell me what to do. Control. Yeah. Alt. Yeah. Forward slash. Look at that. Keyboard shortcuts. Every keyboard shortcut. Fantastic point here. And you can see on the left here, there's actually an organization based off of what you're doing. So if it's like a school thing or if it's a good, if you're just browsing the web and you're you know jumping in, there's also the popular shortcuts. You can see here that you can jump between uh, with different controls. Those are so good. I, I probably shouldn't tell this story, but I will. I was in a class and all the Chromebooks were upside down, all the screens. <laughs> and so, Manjeet, if you go and search, oh, maybe we shouldn't do this. Teachers, make sure you're aware of this. But you can search, like, why is this a problem? How do I fix that? And it was just a keyboard shortcut that can rotate the screen. And so the students found out by using Control, Alt, and that forward slash. So now, did they type in, um, what did they type rot in there? Rot 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 rotate. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, yeah. no. What have you done? Now then? you know, everyone, how to fix it, right? Control, Alt. You have to make it worse. Slash. Yeah, it's true, Darren. And Teachers need to know these things, right? They, so they do. We don't want to hide. You knowledge. guys take it away with it. <laughs> yeah. Manji, now can you show us your Chrome browser? I want to show one thing. Sometimes people are like, "Oh, well, I, I wish I had another screen on my Chromebook," but okay. we can actually, if you tear off a tab, and you use, there you go, and you do Alt and the square bracket. So alt and the square bracket, let's see, uh, which one was it? Uh, kind of confirm here, which square bracket that is. Let's try this, there we go. And you, there you go, boom, <laughs> alt and square bracket. And then maybe go to your other one and you can get off the stream yard and do maybe just a Google page and do alt and square bracket the other way. Look at this. Ah, so you can move it around, woo! Yeah, <laughs> try that my friends, alt square bracket. It moves your screen side to side so you could have your tabs side by side. You could have two screens, you could have the research that you're doing, and then where you're doing your summarizing on your doc or whatever you're doing there. So I love that. And then the one that you have in behind, you could also make that alt square bracket to the other side so you get the true side to side tabs. That's actually pretty awesome, I have to say. That is, yeah. As a person who has like a million tabs open all the time, I think that would be super handy. Uh, I'm gonna go minimize this so you don't have to see my amazing yeah. shapes here. But no, that's actually really, really handy, Darren. That's super great. Um, I wonder, how many students are already aware of the large mouse cursor and the fact that you can put a little highlight on your mouse? I wonder. Throw it in the in the form. Do you know how to? Do you have a big mouse already? I know I have a large mouse. And if we're watching, I'm looking at Manjeet. So I'm like, I can't see your mouse, Manjeet. I cannot see it. It's too <laughs> small. Let's make it big. So, if we go down to our settings, we're going to turn on some awesome accessibility settings right now. Okay. And there is the little person, a little accessibility. So sometimes teachers and students, you might see your Chromebook, you know, you turn it on and, and it's like reading your web pages out loud. And you're like, oh my gosh, why is my Chromebook talking to me? You've turned on, you know, some dictation or you have an on-screen keyboard. So there's strength. This is where you go to either turn on the things that are useful or to turn off the things that are driving you crazy. Right, Charity? How many times have you been in a class? Um, the biggest one, like sticky keys or click on hover, you know, the kids were going and it keeps clicking automatically. And they're like, why is it doing this? Accessibility, my friends, accessibility. Yeah, so the right, one, right. let's give you, let's get a large mouse cursor. We see it on there. So on screen the keyboard. to additional settings there? I think you might even be able to do a scrolly scroll. Really, eh? Oh, scrolly scroll, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get a large mouse cursor. Okay, let's click that. Whoa, it's huge, man. Yeah. And let's let's highlight it too. Let's highlight that cursor. There we go. Oh, is it that the right one? Highlight text carry? Oh, uh, nope. There it is. Sorry. The mouse cursor is so big, they're not fully used to it just yet. But there we go. It's highlighted. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Now I see exactly where you're clicking. I love that. Or for teachers, you're like, why do you have such a large cursor? Can you make that smaller? You could do that too. But if you're ever showing stuff on the board, you know, this is a great way to, to show things with that large, that large mouse cursor. I love it. Uh, one want, other one. I want to quickly mention the chat is absolutely loving these accessibility yeah. options. That's great. <laughs> yeah, Usman, I feel like, do you have any other accessibility that you use or you, you like about the Chromebooks or that you see being used a lot, Usman? Uh, so personally, I don't. But one that I actually do recommend to 
a lot of, uh, you know, parents that kind of come in and uh, this, this works for a lot of great people, but it's the on-screen keyboard, right? A lot of people have t trouble typing. Uh, just seeing this keyboard on the screen is just an amazing uh, addition as well. Yeah, especially if you have a touch screen, you yeah. can have your Chromebook kind of act like a, like a tablet. That's fantastic. You know which one I kind of use? Manji, do you want to try this one? Sure. There's, there's, there's a magnifier. Yeah? Okay. So I don't know if, if uh, students know about this one. But if you go back into your accessibility, so we're going down to the bottom. Boop. Sure. Okay. Accessibility. Little, little guy. Scroll down to the bottom. I don't think you have to scroll to you. There's one. I think it's at the top. There is a uh, ah, magnifier. Do we want to do full screen? Yeah. 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 I love this one. Okay. I'm going to be at your mercy now. You're going to have to help me because it's yeah. like putting on. It's like putting on binoculars. So here we go. I'm going to click it, and there we go. Yeah. Whoa! Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> now the keyboard shortcut. Is Control Alt? It's still a snake bite, but it's with that Control Alt, and okay. then it's a zoom in and out. Whoa! Yeah, crazy. Oh, so you, aware. you can do that. So you can zoom right out. You're like, hey, what was that little thing? Oh, it's right there. That's kind of cool. What's you can actually hover over things, and you can just yes. kind of zoom in as you see fit. It zooms to your mouse, right? So yeah. Control Alt, and whoo, whoo. I sure hope that somewhere. Wherever you are, my friends, we're getting all of you zooming. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't have motion sickness, guys. <laughs> but you want to read something? There you go. That's actually fantastic, man. You know, these kinds of tips that you're, you're talking about are super handy. And even as Chromebook experts, like we're the guys who work with them every day for productivity and everything like that. Um, these are the kind of tips that, you know, a lot of people don't use. And I, I can fully admit to you, some of these are even new to me. And that just goes to show you the depth of Chromebooks, right? There's so much inside of them. Uh, that's something cool like this. I mean, look at this, look at this crystal ball here. Uh, and this crystal ball is saying what someone else was saying in the in the comment section there, Darren, that someone really loves uh, a Michael Jackson song, if you could do that eventually. And there we go. <laughs> All right. Cool stuff. That's actually fantastic. What's next fantastic. on the topic? Are you, are you cool still presenting? Or Usman, you want to present a little bit? Or are we, we good with how we're going? I'm good. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, we're fantastic. Would you be able to make me a new slideshow? And I'm not sure if students know this little shortcut. If you go to a new tab, and students, you can do this too. Just go to a new tab and type slides.new we're actually going to go we're going to skip this page okay. we're going to go to a brand new tab and type in slides.new slides.new slides top new yeah there you go slides.new boom look at that that works for forms.new sheets.new sites.new jam.new like every google tool you just type it dot new and boom you got a brand new one Look at I love that shortcut. There's no oh. going into your drive and selecting new doc. That's so cool. That is actually really, really cool. Yeah. So you that. can go to, he's doing all of them docs. <laughs> yeah, I had to. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Did you just not believe me? You just want to. <laughs> you want to see them all? Yeah, let's see this here. Okay. Cool. So let's just everyone in the here. chat is loving all these shortcuts there and like holy hey. smokes. Well, while you have that, I'm not sure if you're aware that sometimes we use a tool read write for, for Google to read stuff out loud. But did you know your Chromebook can actually do this all on its own? So if you go back in, let's keep this doc up, but let's go back into our settings. Okay. And there is one. There's there's two that are related to this. And sure. one is select to speak. Right here. Okay. Want me to click yeah. it? Yeah. And right. all you need to do is you hold down the magnifying glass search key and click. So you hold magnifying glass, click, and let's hope this works. Okay, let's give it a try. Put my volume up here. Go to the main screen. Do I highlight anything or just? Just, oh no, magnifying glass and the search key and click. And yeah, there you go. Oh, it did, it did it for a second. Darren is so cool. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Right? Right? <laughs> Hang on, let's, let's try another one here. I want to do another one if you don't mind. Do it. Do it. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, ready? Here we go. Benjamin is a great guinea pig. That's right. There we go. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> and not only that, you don't like the voice, you can go in. There's nine different voices that it'll use. And this will read any text box on a slide on any anywhere where there's Google. You can use this. So select to speak. The other one that's amazing is the dictation. And now you might be aware that in this doc, if you go to tools, you, can, you don't even have to be in the accessibility. But just go to mm -hmm. tools and you just... Uh, go to voice typing and just say anything. Make sure you say your periods and yeah, there we okay. go. Uh, make sure that you dot your T's. Is there dot your T's? <laughs> dot your T's? So I have to click and speak when I'm ready for that. Ready? Okay, let's give that a try. Let me allow that. One wow. second. Okay. <laughs> Look at it. Now, it's 
trying to translate my laugh. <laughs> Here is the tool. Here's the, the actual key. Just stop that for one second. When you are working with these tools, you have to make sure that you stop it before every sentence. So you think of the entire sentence you're about to say, and then you say it. So you could say something like, this morning I woke up and I had a coffee, period. So you have to know what you're going to say. And that's what I always tell students. You got to like think of it and then say the full sentence. Do you want to try that again with a little voice typing? Yeah, for sure. Okay, let's give it again. You can see I blew up at the top here. It just kind of went on and on and on. So now I'm yeah. supposed to say a sentence, right? Okay. Yeah, and you got to think it first and then say the whole thing with the punctuation. Okay, so let's try this. Yeah. Let me <clears throat> let me try this. Ready? Here we go. Yeah. Let's go to uh, voice typing. And then click it. Click it, yeah. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, period. And then stop it. There we go. Whoa. Look at that. Yeah. That's yeah, going to help you with my happens. reports. You know, that's, that's actually really, really handy. Now, the, the thing is, if you go to your slides, sometimes you think, oh, man, I wish that worked in slides. Well, guess what? Read write does not work in slides, but this dictation tool, this won't work. The voice typing, that's only for speaker notes. But guess what? Your Chromebook dictation. Did you turn that on in your accessibility? There was one, there's, so there's select and speak, and then there's dictation. Okay, let's take a look. Let's try it out. So we'll go yeah. over here. And you, you're doing, you're amazing at this, by the way. I love how this is working. Like you're doing really great with that. You know so, what, man? I got a great coach working with me. His name is Darren. He's the GOAT. Yeah. Uh, he's helping me out big time here. So I, I love this. I've never been the GOAT at anything. So, maybe <laughs> are. so dictation, okay. you have it turned on. So go to, go to your, uh, where it says click to add title, right in your box, your text mm -hmm. box. Yeah. So we're going to click in that text box. And this is magnifying glass D for dictation. And then in the same thing, you're going to speak a sentence. Okay. So the same thing. <clears throat> magnifying glass D. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. It took, it, it, <laughs> it's picking me up. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll stop talking. Okay. Here we go. I'll try to come up with something amazing. Okay. Ready, guys? Here's something super inspirational for all of you. Stay in school. Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> Just tap it, right? Don't hold it. Okay, let's try that again. Let's try it again. Yeah. Play in school, kids. You know what? If it's going to say play think, in school, I'll take that too. Go ahead. Also, that's <laughs> also <great>. It works. <laughs> it works. Just as well. Just go. Yeah, read write does not work in there, but uh, <laughs> should we do some more some more little slides tips? Here's here's one keyboard shortcut that I think every student should know. Stay in that slide for a second, Manjeet, if, sure. if you could. And we, let's get rid of the themes. That takes up space. Those themes on oh, the side. Yeah, right. oh, yeah. There we go. Sorry. That's hey, Darren. Yeah. Just, just before you move on to some slide stuff, Mrs. M just has a question. That, um, and maybe Usman and Manji can answer this. Some of her students don't see the accessibility button. Is there something they need to change in order to see that? Yeah. So what you need to do is you need to go into your settings and then search for accessibility, which is very hard to spell. Yeah. <laughs> So you go in same same place, and if you don't see that little thing there, you go to the gear instead, which is up at the top, uh, the little gear. Yeah, right there, boom. And here's where you search for accessibility. ACC, there you go, and then you, then you find it. And once you turn on a single accessibility feature, then you will see it down below in your settings. Yeah, yeah and you can also see if you click uh, on the settings main page here, if you go to the advanced tab, just click oh, on the yeah. left here, you'll see accessibility there too. So if you don't feel like typing, you can feel free to find it there too. There we go. There's a couple great ways to do it. It's, you, would you say it's accessible, Darren, to find accessibility? <laughs> well, Sorry, I, I, I love it. When, I, I love it when it. students correct me. They're like, "That's not how I do it." Because, like, think about like scrolling. How many ways do you know how to scroll up and down on a web page? Uh, one way, I'd say. Well, I think there's five. Get out of town! I don't believe you. So, if you go to a web page that we can scroll on, you could do the uh, two fingers. Foop, 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 foop. Okay. Let's try this here. Uh, let me see if I can find you a cool website. What's a, what would you recommend that I go to, Darren? Oh, I was hoping you would give me collective .ca. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, let's try that out. Let's go over here. Okay, here we go. So I am in this website now, this fantastic website for this fantastic group. Uh, what do I do, Darren? So you could two finger swipe. Okay, up and down, cool. They see me scrolling. Yeah. <laughs> you could use the sidebar. Which is over on the side, little sidebar. It's a little gray bar that's you know on every Ooh, web page. Yeah. It's a little smaller, yeah. You could use that. If you have a touch screen, you could yeah. use your you know your touch screen. I'm you could use the, yeah the arrow keys. That's the one a lot of students know. Okay. Arrow keys up and down. 
For me, it seems to not be working. Am I doing something right or wrong here? Yeah, you, you broke the internet. So Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, kids. <laughs> <laughs> so arrow keys should work. If they don't, there's also a space bar. Space bar will take you down to the bottom of the page. Yep. Uh -huh. And right. then shift space bar brings you to the top. What? Get out of here. So I can go space bar to go down and then shift and space bar to go back up. Yeah. That's cool. So, I mean, that's just one example. You don't have to know all those. You might be like, what was that first one? You don't need to know all those. Don't worry about it. If you're ever wondering, of course, you can search every shortcut. Like I told you, control, alt, question, or question marks, forward slash. Um, but five different ways to do one thing. And so sometimes a great two student, like, I don't do it that way. Fantastic. There's so many ways you could do things, right? That's pretty cool. Ah, let's go into your your uh, the slide, your, your blank slide. Let's create some stuff on here. Sure. Fantastic. I always also, I always get rid of speaker notes and I do that usually by grabbing the little grabby, there's a mm -hmm. grabby thing below, I know, right in the center and I yeah. drag it down to the bottom. All like the way to the bottom. bottom. Yeah, like you're pulling down a blind. So you don't even read your notes. You really are the goat. You just go buy it. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, usually I use slides for creating art or for doing all kinds of really cool things. We make magazines and all kinds of neat things. Hey, let, let's do another shortcut. I wasn't planning on this shortcut, but you know, sometimes students want to zoom in and out and they might use the control plus minus, and this is not how you want to be doing your zooming. Sorry, I'm getting my, my son is. So if you get that way, yeah, yeah so this, I like that you're doing that. Like this is no, oh my gosh, no. Like do it, do it, but no. no. <laughs> no, gross. <laughs> when you want to zoom, you actually want to do control alt plus and minus. So go out, oh, control alt, minus, 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 minus. Look at that. Whoa. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so your teacher gives you a slide deck. You're like, I can't read that. It's so small. Control alt, minus and plus. That is the super, super awesome zoom. I love doing that. Fantastic. Yeah. Should we build some things? Should we make some stuff? Yeah, sure. I'm a lazy person, but I'm ready to build if you need to. Well, Usman is here too. If he wants to take over, he's, <laughs> he's just smiling. I love it. <laughs> I, was, I was telling everybody earlier, guys, that Usman is, um, in comedy, comedy terms, he's something called like a, a, the straight man. So basically, if I had a pie, he'd be the guy getting the pie in the face. Okay. Uh, you have a lot more fun being the funny guy. And you suffer a lot more being the guy who has to take the part of the face. But, you know what? Let's give Usman some mercy here. Darren, I can take care of it. No problem. And I'm learning a lot with you, too. You really are. Uh, I mean, I, I've seen some people in the comment section saying that uh, they were in your class last year. Um, so even being as, as like a student live right now, I can tell you this is actually a ton of fun. And I'm learning a lot of stuff. So throw anything at me, my man. Fantastic. Well, <laughs> hey, before this... you guys move on. Sorry, yeah. one more question. Mr. Matthews. He needs a replay of that um, search key click move. Awesome. So uh, for the dictation or, yeah. no, the, or the select and speak. Yeah. So to get it, it's the select and speak accessibility and it's search and click and anywhere where you have text. So there, there it is right there. Yep. Uh, it was right, it's right above dictation. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Search and speech yeah. and dictation. These two over here. They have to be checked, right? They have to be checked and then it'll read anything that you click on. Ah, okay. Thanks, guys. And you can in this in the settings, you can slow that voice down. I wish I had that setting where you could slow me down, but unfortunately, <laughs> it doesn't exist. There's just coffee. I don't think it's only gets gets higher from here. Okay, so this layout we have here, Manjeet, is yep. actually this is the plagiarism layout. This is ah. where you would put a picture, and then you put bulleted points that you copy from Wikipedia. So this is what we don't want to do. So we're going to turn this into something different. So okay. let's go to file. Yeah. And we're going to change our page layout. We're going to go page setup. Yeah. And we are going to go, instead of widescreen, boop, custom. Custom, OK. And we're going to make this a piece of paper, 8.5 by 11. So 8.5 is the first one. OK. 8.5, and the other one's 11. Yeah. OK. Go for it. Fly, OK. Boop. Look piece at that. Look like a piece of paper, yeah. Yeah, and you're thinking, oh, I'm, I'm scrolled in too far. <laughs> Control Alt. Minus. Look at that. That handy Ooh. little tool. <laughs> there you go. Sweet. That's also my other nickname, handy little tool, just letting everyone know. So <laughs> perfect. Google machine, so, little tool, all these things. I get called them all the time. So it's okay. You got a lot of let's, nicknames. Let's get a fancy background in here. Sure. 
Um, you can nuke those text boxes if you want. I like to do it with the invisible box. I click and I drag. So I, I often click on the white space and drag down to get that blue box. Yeah. So you click anywhere above, like in the white. Okay. Uh, so like and up then, here? Yeah, like, and then, like out of the text box. Like that? Is that what you want me to do? Uh, oh, no. Out of the so, Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, right there. And then click and drag from outside of the text box down there. There ah! we go. Okay. In backspace, and you can get rid of them that way. No done. That's one way. You could also go to layout and blank. <clears throat> or okay. you could click. Yeah, right? There's yeah. three three ways to do it. Pretty I awesome. love this, by the way. You know what I think we're modeling here too is like it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to play. Like that's what we're doing. Yeah, when it comes to making these kinds of things, I usually have like a set format. So this is getting me out of my comfort zone, but at the same time, I'm still having a blast. So does that mean everything's okay, Darren? <laughs> <laughs> everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> you got everything's gonna be fine. Now wow. I like to make magazines. I've got a whole huge website full of things where it's like a Twitter template or a Goodreads template or a magazine template or a newspaper template, or we make it into like a fake Twitter or a, we have a TikTok template where they can put a video on here. So there's so much you can do with slides. Like when someone's like, how should I publish things? Like slides, you can do everything in slides. Hmm. So let's, let's get a background. I think students might know already how to do background, but let's do something cool. Like do a background and choose an image and do something like, uh, like a watercolor art, a Google image search of a watercolor art. Okay. And I found, when I added the word background in here, it gave me better ones. Watercolor background art. Oh, and art. Okay. Let's give that a shot. If it for, and let's see. Wow. Oh. Those. Ooh. Pretty. Pretty. Cool. I'm not so going to tell you which one. Maybe one that's kind of like lighter, like that one that's right in the third row, second one in. That one would be great. Okay. Yeah. That would look cool. Let's insert that. So, how do I do this Probably now? Different. And Is then done. Problem? Is oh. it done here? We're good to go? Nice. Look at that. Oh. Hmm. Now, I do lots of art with this. Sometimes we go in with a color and we do a cool gradient. I've been doing one lately where it's like a sunset with trees and stars, and we use the background and the gradient that's there. That's super fun to do. Nice. Yeah. You call. can do amazing things with those backgrounds now. Yeah. We could, well, let's look at it real quick. If you go to background. Sure. And go to find uh, the, so color. Are, yeah, color. Yeah, and click on that color and see there's gradient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you go to, and so there's gradient, you can do these custom gradients. You can add your own colors instead of using the ones that are here. So we're not going to do this fully, but just so you know, you can make, you know, beautiful gradients. You can make colors. We do art with this. Like Look this is. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of like that. Let's leave it. <laughs> <laughs> or you can go back, you can undo, which is a little eyebrow. There right. you go. So I hope we didn't lose anybody because that was kind of a lot of stuff. First, we went to file and page setup and we changed the background or the, the size of our thing to be like a piece of paper. And then we just changed the background. So file, page setup, eight and a half by 11. That's the page first thing we did. There we go. Yeah. You haven't yeah. lost anyone, Darren, but Mrs. Cairo's class is really curious about how have you learned all these things. Like, you're the shortcut master. In all the years I've known you, you're like the shortcut guy. How do you how do you retain all this knowledge of all these shortcuts? Well, A, it helps being a super nerd. But <laughs> but B, I, I just it's doing it all the time. Like I, I work with slides and working with classes as as my job all the time. So when students are like, Mr. Malty, my Chromebook is talking. I have to figure out, I have to go in, okay, why is it doing that? I go in and look at the accessibility features. And then I just play. And I think the biggest thing is just playing. And I, I, I do a lot of art with slides. I do a lot of like cool, creative things with them. And it's just, just play. I think that's the biggest thing. Don't be scared. You're not gonna break anything with Google, right? It's all saved. It's all backed up. Even one, one time I was uh, doing a conference and I left my Chromebook in a taxi cab. <laughs> and so that wasn't good, but, but, this month, was I worried? No. no not Why? Because I actually borrowed another Chromebook and I had all my stuff. So signed yeah, right in. Signed right in. So that's the great thing. And so a lot of times I'm just playing, play, 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 play. Do you know what my favorite button is? <laughs> undo. Undo. <laughs> yeah. Undo. Okay. Control Z. There you go. Control Z, oh, wow. yeah. That's all, you know, um, it's it's uh, the question that people are asking you too about like how do you memorize all these things. Think about how when you ride a bike, 
um, how complicated that actually is. You know, you've got to keep your balance. You've got to, you know, do your, your steering. You've got to, you know, function with your pedals and in, in sync with where you're going. All those things fall together naturally the more you do it. And then eventually you're doing it without thinking. That's the same thing as Darren what he's doing right now. Uh, you don't get to GOAT status by constantly looking up your stuff. You just keep practicing and doing it. And there you go. He's teaching me new things, right? That's pretty amazing. If, if only I could apply these to all these other things in my life. I always try to keyboard shortcut things in real life. It doesn't work. I say, oh, undo. But then no. So here's a little trick that I don't think a lot of students know is transparent background images. So I want to add an image, but I want no background. And did you know you can do this right within a Google search? So we're going to add an image and you can do this two ways where you're going insert an yeah. image. That's one way. And let's search the interwebs. You got it. Okay. What are we looking for? Let's look for something like, like a giraffe, but don't press enter. You're a super fast typer. We're going to do an image search, but now press space and add PNG. Okay. And just hit just enter. Yeah. Adding that little PNG is amazing because let's get, oh, let's get the one with the head. This yeah. One that one right there. yeah. Check this out. When you insert this, guess what it doesn't have. Whoa, there's no background here. Oh my gosh. It's nice and clean. It is, right? I love that. That's actually amazing. Can you, uh, that, I love that. That's that's really fantastic. Can you do another one? Let's add a, let's add a dinosaur in here, or maybe a shark. Okay. So let's go. Let's go insert image, From and this map, time yeah. let's search for a shark. But make sure we add that PNG. Okay, shark PNG. Let's take a look. <laughs> How are we doing the baby shark? <laughs> We're doing this one, this one, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and veto this entire thing and say, yeah, we're doing this one. Do, you, do your thing. <laughs> The power of veto, I love it. Now, is that baby shark or is that Katy Perry shark? I, I think it's the, that's the Katy Perry shark that was going to be, uh, yeah, that's the one. Maybe <laughs> Katy Perry one. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to show you a keyboard shortcut that, again, not a lot of people know, but it is amazing. When you have that image and you want to resize it, let's do the giraffe me. Oh, no, yeah, we do the baby shark. That's no, fine. No, the giraffe is cool, too. Uh, okay. You know, it, let's go for the giraffe. Tell me what this, this is amazing. A lot of students might know, you know, you could drag, don't do it. You could drag from the corners. But what always happens is they, people drag from the middle sometimes, you know, and they're like, I'm going to resize this. So when you grab like the middle uh, square on the right hand side, you know, you yeah. grab that and you drag it in or drag this down. And what do you get? You get a distorted giraffe. Oh, do it. Yeah. Oh, that Look poor at him. giraffe. He's already stretched enough. What have we done, Darren? We've ruined him. Oh, okay. So. Here's a keyboard shortcut that every student should know. Control Alt J. Yep. J makes it smaller. What? And K makes it bigger. And that's just snake bite right on Control Alt. J and right. K. Okay. Bigger. Just snake bite right into the keyboard and then J or K. Look at that. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Snake bites are everyone's best friends. <laughs> right? It's also a cool sounding gang. I'm just going to say I'm a part of the snake, snake bite. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, Maybe everybody. We can be the snake bite. <laughs> my next nickname now. There we go. That's they also call me Snake Bite. Hopefully, you guys call me that in the chat now. Let's see how that. <laughs> um, this is actually really beautiful, Darren. This looks actually like a, a magazine that I subscribed to some time ago. It was called Watercolor Giraffe Shark Monthly. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, it brings back a lot of memories. It's good stuff. I know. And you could put a frame around there, and make it look like it's a, a Time magazine. There's an awesome shape. It, oh, should we do it? Let's just do it really quick. Yeah, sure. Might as well. Because people, hopefully you're just grabbing some shapes and everyone's doing a Google search right now. If you go to the shapes, which is the circle and the square, there's one mm -hmm. called frame. And it's, okay. uh, yeah, shapes and then frame. It's right in the middle, directly in the middle. It oh, this like one over here. It looks like a photo yeah. frame, right? Now, the cool thing about this one is that, and it's a drag. You can drag it down to the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, you did. And all the way to the corner. Oh, yeah. Was that okay, yeah. guys? I think it was all right. I was just, you know, I was just using my finger there going as far as I could. But yeah, that I mean, is pretty good. good. Yeah, you yeah. can always adjust. And the cool thing about this too is there's a little orange bar at the very top, a little orange dot. And you can oh, actually yeah. drag that to make it thinner or thicker. Oh. And then, I don't know, are we doing National Geographic? Maybe you want to go into the paint can now and we can change it to uh, with the golden color of... You know, National Geographic. Ooh, that's wow. <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> the baby shark really makes it. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, then yeah. you could put word art and your second page could be them summarizing something. So there's some, you know, super awesome things you can now, do with that. I feel like there's a pun in here somewhere. Like maybe it could be called National Ge Ge Geographic. That was it's terrible. National <laughs> you have to do it. National Geographic. I like it. Guys, it's the law. I have to make a terrible pun. And I'm sorry, but it's just the way it is, you know? So let's continue and move on with our lives. <laughs> oh, man. Well, some of the other things that we want to talk about, hopefully everyone's having a lot of fun. And you can always go back, basically just inserting these images, PNG, changing the page setup, and then all these little these shortcuts. And you're like, these are too many shortcuts. Hey, guess what? Every tool also has, if you do control, I think it's control um, question mark or control forward slash, gives you every shortcut for that tool. Oh, look at that. So if you're like, I don't know how to control question mark gives you every shortcut for that tool. Like, how do I resize? How do I do this? What was all that stuff that Darren said? Well, there you go. It's all there. You only it's need to know. One. Here. Yeah. It's like the one ring from the Lord of the Rings. Control forward slash. Boom. You get every shortcut. Nice. <laughs> Good call, man. And it binds them. I like it. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. you guys are into Lord of the Rings because that stuff is awesome. If you haven't done it so done so already, you know, you got to start with The Hobbit mm -hmm. and then go from there. Continue, please. I'm sorry. I love Lord of the Rings. Exactly. <laughs> That's great. Hey, one of the things that uh, just changed with Chromebooks too, I'm, I'm not sure if everyone's aware, that the screen capture just got a million times better. So the screen capture is actually down in your settings again. Okay. And it's a little icon. See that right in the center? Screen capture. Okay. This is brand new. This just came. Now, you could drag just with a section if you want to just, uh, I think you might have to show oh, right, right, right over here. Right over here, yeah. Be the center one, yeah. So you can say, I just want to capture this little part. But the amazing thing is, even a few weeks ago, when you let go, that was the capture. But now you're able to move it. That's amazing. So basically yeah. what happens is it used to be like you have to know exactly what you were doing. And now it actually gives you a chance to kind of frame things, adjust things, and select it from there. That's actually fantastic. It is oh, so much better. Yeah. And you can actually, I kept capturing my mouse. I'm like, oh, I don't want my mouse in the picture. And I figured out that enter is also the same thing as capture. So you can move your mouse off and then press enter. You don't get your mouse in your capture. Look at that. Oh, yeah. oh amazing. Amazing. Yeah. And the thing that blows my mind too is not only can you capture it, not only can you move it, but did you see the other feature that was there? If you go back in, sure. Let's uh, let's go back to another capture there. Hang on, let's uh, look find a little bit like a recording device. <laughs> right. Take a look. Okay. So what do we have here? What else is new? Well, now, like Usman said, camera <laughs> doesn't just have to be a section of your screen. You could actually record. Now the, there's there's a little gear to turn your microphone on. Oh, I see. What's going to there we go. So now, okay, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, turn that on. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. We can record it on my, my Chromebook here. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, I think you can probably press enter again or just capture yeah, the screen. Yeah, I can probably do enter here. Okay, here we go. So I've gone ahead in three, two, three, one. Here we go. Two. This is my wallpaper. It's called Pale Mango. It's really cool. It's uh, it's me in the winter time. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. And then there's a little stop button. Okay, I just clicked at the bottom of here. It showed up. There we go. Absolutely. Boom. That's hey, Darren, really yeah. when you do these things, where does the Chromebook store them oh, so we can that, find them? That is so, so great. Now, you want to use this keyboard shortcut. There's two ways to get there. There's It's your files. Um, the keyboard shortcut is Alt-Shift-M to get Alt to your files. M. There we go. Whoop. There we go. And this cool. brings up your file manager. And these get saved. The screen captures get saved to your downloads folder. Okay. Right there. Cool. Yeah. There it is, right there. Boom. There's all your screen captures. So should I should I click it and see if it works? You could, yeah. <laughs> test it out. Let's test it out, guys. See how terrible this is. Okay, ready? Here we go. This is my wallpaper. It's called Pale Mango. It's really cool. It's uh it's me in the winter time. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. That's awesome. That's super cool. And that's not the only way to get to your files. You could also hit the little magnifying glass and go down to your files and see your file. Your file one as well. Yep, the file's right over here. Yep, and you have it there. There we go. Oh. Man, I can't believe this has been an hour. The only other thing I was I really wanted to the, the camera app is one of the apps that we could look at taking pictures and that does video and all that sort of stuff. But I think our timing was actually really good. We were we got 30 seconds left. 
Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. You, were, you were an amazing student, Ajit. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, coming in as a student was the best thing ever. Um, I've learned so much from this and this has actually been so much fun. It's really, really practical stuff too, man. So honestly, that's that's like the best thing I've ever seen in a long time, man. Good job. Yeah. Well, if I'm moving to Toronto, maybe I can get a job at the uh, Chrome. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I think you're uh, you're chewing for this for sure, man. Oh, that's great. Oh, thanks so much. A great 45 minutes, you guys. Thank you, Manjeet and Isman for joining us. Thank you, everyone out there for joining us. What a wicked 45 minutes of shortcuts. Darren, you are the goat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we need to get more Darren yeah. Goat. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, guys. Hey, Manjeet said it best. Play in school. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's right, guys. Play, Play in, in school. school. Um, yeah. Don't torture your teachers with the settings that you learned today. That was just a little bit of fun. Teachers, obviously, undo all the stuff that's been done if it does happen. Uh, if, if there's any questions, remember, uh, you can always reach out to Darren. Uh, he will come to you right off the bat, and he will help you out. He's the best at this. And I, myself, learned so much. Uh, I use it for work every day. But this stuff that he just showed me is going to save me a lot of time. So thank you, Darren. Uh, thank you, Charity. You guys have been fantastic so far. Uh, this has actually been a great, great event. And we look forward yeah. to the next one. Fantastic awesome. job. Usman gets to steer next time. You're the student next time. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, everyone. Guys. Bye. Take care. Take care. Bye, guys.